Brewers from local to international will gather this weekend in one epic craft beer festival. It is an event like no other in this valley. We'll have the details on that and more in our After Hours report. The After Hours report is brought to you by Live Nation. After a five-year hiatus, this Saturday we'll see the return of the largest craft beer festival between Cleveland and Pittsburgh, the Big Tap in Six. The big focus is uh, local breweries, but we do have national and even international breweries uh, uh, from Belgium, Europe, uh, all over the country. We have over 200 different beers for people to sample, 80 different breweries. So when people come to this event, they will be guaranteed to find something that they will fall in love with. Phil and Sandy Rita are the event organizers for the Big Tap-In. A lot of people were emailing us saying, bring it back, bring back Big Tap-In. And finally we succumbed to that and said, okay, let's do this thing again. And uh, so here we are. This festival is more unique than even the ones we've had in the past because there are local breweries now in the Youngstown area. Available only this week and at the Craft Beer Festival will be collaboration beers made by members of the State Line Brewers Guild. There's going to be so many different styles of beers. One of the coolest things about where we are right now is the craft beer community that we have locally. And beer won't be the only thing to enjoy at this weekend's event. At this festival we also get local artists, local food vendors, we have local entertainers. Of course great bands that are going to be playing so it's going to be just a, a very high energy event. So it's not just beer, it's a lot of other things involved but I think one of the most exciting things is the fact that we have local breweries that can be a part of it this year. In addition, all of the proceeds from the festival will benefit Project MKC. We've been working with them, I think it's been four out of the six events that we've done. My wife and I fell in love with uh, the, the whole group, the ladies that run Project MKC. What they do for the children in this valley is amazing. My husband and I have always had a passion for children and when we knew what they were actually doing to help with families and they did birthday parties at Akron Children's Hospital, they did backpack programs. One of their biggest things right now is a diaper drive. They do so many wonderful things that we just, it's just wonderful to work with them. They're kind of behind the scenes on what they do, but they're, they're having a huge impact in Mahoney Valley. The festival will take place at the Metroplex Expo Center in Girard from 2 to 5 p.m. General session tickets are $55. You can also get designated driver tickets for $33. Get yours in advance and find out more about the Big Tap and Real Craft Beer Festival by visiting BigTapIn.com. I think uh, we're very excited actually to do this. Uh, the impact that it has on the valley, uh, the, the idea of bringing local breweries together, and bringing community together, it, those, are, those are some of the things that motivate us, but the, uh, the impact that it has on the Valley with Making Kids Count, Project MKC, that's, that's a real big motivator for us too. You can't miss it. It's one of the, the most vibrant, energetic things that we put on in this Valley. And just get your tickets because it's going to a good cause. And if you're a craft beer, hard cider, lover, this is the place to be. I want to tell everyone that they better drop what they have planned for this Saturday. Come to the Expo Center right here in Girard. This is a beautiful facility. Um, they will be glad they came. It will be an event that they will always remember. Big tap in. Now here's the rest of your weekend rundown. Coming up on Tuesday, April 30th, the Warren Civic Music Association presents Louis Prima Jr. and the Witnesses at Packard Music Hall. Doors open at 6.15 p.m. with the show starting at 7. Tickets are $40. Get yours by calling the box office at 330-841-2931 or by visiting PackardMusicHall.com. In celebration of being named Best Coffee in Ohio by Food & Wine Magazine, Branch Street Coffee Roasters in Boardman will be throwing a party this Saturday from 4 to 8 p.m. There will be a DJ, beer from Noble Creature Cask House and Birdfish Brewing Company, and all drink proceeds benefit Angels for Animals. The Westminster School of Music will present a gala concert this Friday at 7.30 p.m. in the Will W. Orr Auditorium. The concert features the melodies of Westminster College Jazz Ensemble, the Chamber Singers, and the Westminster College Symphony Orchestra. 
The concert is free and open to the public. This Sunday at 2 p.m. in Bliss Hall Spotlight Theater on the campus of YSU, the Dana School of Music presents the opera Hansel and Gretel. The show is one performance only and is free and open to the public. This weekend, YSU Penguin Productions presents Federal Frenzy for the fifth year in downtown Youngstown. The Music and Arts Festival will take place Saturday from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. There will be plenty of live music, live artistry, activities, and vendors to enjoy. For more details, visit the event Facebook page. For this week's After Hours Report, I'm Maggie Young. The After Hours Report is brought to you by Live Nation.